Crazy Will here today. Today we're going to be talking about a digital microscope. I'm going to show you what this bad boy could do. Stay tuned. Hey, Crazy Will from Crazy Will's Tech Show. Today we're going to be talking about this digital microscope. If you guys want to take a look at that. So you guys know in my last videos, I've been toying with SMD, soldering and working on things. This is a look at my old setup, but I used the old Canon Vixia HFR800, which probably wasn't the best idea, especially with fumes going into it and everything like that. But I've been trying to ramp up some of my gear, and this came on my radar basically because it was 42 bucks. And I was like, for $42? I want to give this a try and what we're looking at here is we got an LCD screen here we got buttons to turn it on and off different selections and we got a little uh, rotation thing that right here that could zoom in and out so we, you could work on devices like this now this one there's lots of versions of this one I will leave a link down below of the version I have they're all kind of basically the same from what I've read I mean I've even found one even cheaper than this I just like the metal stand and I think it's really worth it but this one comes with a 4.3 inch LCD screen. It says 50 times zoom to a thousand zoom. I don't know, I'm not a microscope kind of guy, so I don't know how accurate that is, but it does shoot video. It has a little SD card slot right up here, and you can just put your SD card in it. And it also has, on this side, a light adjustment. I'll show you that right there. You can adjust the light up or down, because there's a built-in LED light, so you can view what you're working on. So just to clarify, I did purchase this with my own money, was not given to me this was not a freebie I wish it was but it was a cool device that I kept seeing and I'm like for the price point let's give it a try let's see how good it is see if it's worthwhile so you know to turn it on you just push this right here and you can see the light turns on right here and then you got this screen right here and we have settings there's not that many settings so it's not complex what I liked about this is that there is a battery right back here I'm gonna open that up as you can see, there's a big old lithium battery in there, and it powers this battery. Probably lasts, they say, anywhere from four to five hours. I haven't had a chance to really mess mess with this. I've probably used it for about an hour, and then I just charged it, so I can't really give you any indication on the battery. Now, I will say this, for the people that are getting this, when this comes, you're gonna think it's garbage because there's this little plastic cap here, and make sure you take that off because that's it's, it's really in there, as you can see, and I put it back on just to demonstrate this. I thought it was garbage garbage and then I took this cap off and this is what the cap looks like. It made the images a lot better because you were just looking at the scratches on that piece of plastic instead. So to turn it on real quick, we'll turn it on right here. Boom. Get your little logo. There is some menu options. The only one really worth mentioning is you could just some of the white balance and you can put a target crosshair kind of thing so you could see where you're trying to get the object under this. So, you know, it has like an X so you could see right in the middle so you could see right where you're working. It does have a battery indicator there. This does charge micro USB so you you gotta plug in a little micro USB to a regular size USB so you could recharge this right on your computer or you can recharge it using one of those iPhone USB things or Samsung USB things. Some models actually have an HDMI out. This one does not. So it takes micro SD cards. Not this size, guys. This size, the little one. I am going to insert right now because I want to show you guys what it looks like because I'm going to actually take some of the recordings and show them up on the screen for you guys. So it goes right in there. It's one of those spring push ones. So we're going to, as you can hear, it just clicked in. So that's in there now. You can format the card. That's in the menu. And what I'm going to do right now is we're going to take a look at three different things that I think people would be interested in with this product. One being jewelry. I'm going to zoom in on my ring. Another one being SMD, which is circuit boards. We'll take a look at some circuit boards and see how close we can get in on some of those circuits because that's what I bought it for. And we're going to take a look at a coin. So that way we can zoom in and see what the quality is on a coin because those are the three things that I think most people are watching this video for and we're gonna take a look at it so let's get started I'm gonna show you the SMD part first and then we'll go from there all right so I got this up and running now there is a knob in the back to adjust the height of this so we got 
to go up and down on this one. And I like to try to keep it up high because I'm gonna be working at you know, soldering and stuff. So I want this as far as I can. So I'm gonna take the circuit board and I'm gonna locate where I lobotomize this board. And we're gonna put it right underneath the microscope and I'm gonna hit the okay button to start recording. So this is gonna be the recording that you guys are gonna see. And we're gonna adjust this right here to try to zoom in. All right, all right, so there we go. We got, let's see where I lobotomize this board. Let's move around. Kind of hard to get a little used to, but you can see where I took a whole bunch of stuff off this board. You could kind of make out on the chip, that is the LP LCD, I think it's the 8550 chip, but it's, it's in there. Let's go zoom in and we can actually see what chip that is. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna adjust the knob in the back and we're gonna zoom in. Oop. <laughs> a little too fast. I'm gonna zoom in pretty close. I wanna, I wanna show you how close this thing could get. So we're gonna zoom in, I'm gonna tighten that out, and let me adjust. You can actually read what's on that chip, and you can actually see where the actual dot is on that chip. That's the first pin. You can see that right in the corner there, and we can actually read what's on this chip. Now let's see how much farther we could zoom in, shall we? I'm gonna go even closer, and get right on that board. Get right up against it. I mean, you couldn't work like this, but at least we can get an idea how far it could zoom in and we could see dust particles so that's basically the closest it could zoom in that's the best you're gonna get on that image as you can see it's right on top of that board so that that's not the best working condition all right so you got to see what it looked like with the motherboard now let's take my wedding band and there's some little writing on here and we're gonna try and zoom in on that first look at the wood grain and then we'll also look at the description inside the ring so that way we can kind of see you know if you're looking for like 14 karat gold or something in that effect you could actually be able to see it so I think this would be good for even jewelers or people that like to look at this type of stuff. We we'll put the ring right here and we're gonna try and zoom a little bit. Turn the knob so you can see all the scratches, the wood grain, and I'm handling this so it's kind of hard for you guys to see. Wow, there's a lot of scratches on this. So let's try and turn it on the inside here. Probably a bad example because this is a black ring. Yeah, you can. You can see the, in the inscription. Here we are, we're looking at it. And let's see, we got a key and then some wording there. So that, that I think that works pretty good, you know, if you're a person that wants to see the 14 karat gold kind of. This is really small writing. You can't even see it on this camera and it's, and it's black. So let's put that back on there before I get yelled at by my wife. And the last thing I wanted to show you was a coin. And I got a very basic quarter. I don't collect coins. Show you what this looks like under the microscope and go from there. It's a regular everyday quarter. Now we're gonna throw it under here. So we got the long shot. This is the longest shot we could get. So you could see Liberty, get an idea of what a coin would look like under here. All right, so now there's a dot on there. Let's 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 go in and zoom in on that dot. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this right here and I'm gonna un loosen that up and zoom in. We're gonna go as tight as we can get on this coin. Coin, so I want to try and see how close we can get to the detail. All right, we're gonna adjust this. Yep, it looks like there's a divot or something actually in the coin. So is that a defect or is it just dirt? Looks like dirt. So I'm gonna move this coin around so you guys can get an idea. Like it says, it says a thousand times zoom, but I'll be honest with you, I think, you know, if you want it to get right on top of something, if you don't want to be able to move it. So like, let's move this around and take a look. There's his nose. Let's go to the writing because that'll give you guys a better idea. So you can actually see the writing of the coin the imperfection. In it. One other thing that I know you coin guys like are the edges, so I'm going to show you that real quick. All right, so edges, there you go guys. You can see the edges of the actual coin and you can see the flakiness of my hand. That's lovely. So there was a quick look at this digital microscope. I really like it, I really enjoy it. I love that it's battery powered. You know, I do my uh, updates from time to time, so if I have any other problems with it, I'll let you know, but I haven't had any problems. 42 bucks, I think it's a winner, guys. I definitely give it a five out of five for that price point. I mean, there's nothing I really didn't like about it. I mean, the only thing that I wish it would have had is an actual way to be a little bit more fixed and zoom in, but you know, for $42, what do you expect? That's pretty phenomenal, an LCD screen, lithium battery, an operating system on there, and an actual microscope. I mean, that's pretty awesome. I think this is a really cool little gadget for any hobbyist, whether it be SMD, or coin collector, or jewelry guy, or maybe even a fisherman trying to make those complicated lures. Anybody that has to do really fine, small stuff, I think this is 
is a winner and I think save yourself some aggravation and pick it up. I don't know about you, but I wish I had it when I was actually fixing that MacBook Air. If you want to see those videos, they're right here. But I really wish I had that. I think it's a really cool tool. I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of it. Only time will tell. We'll revisit this on one of my updates at a later date just to let you know what I still think of it. That's it for me, guys. Make sure you liked and subscribed if this helped you in any way. And remember, you can do anything if you put your mind to it. Later, guys. SMB. SMD. I've been toying with S SMD. I know what you're thinking. Crazy Will's tech show's over. What do I do now? Real simple, guys. You hit that like button and you hit that subscribe button. And then you check out my other videos. It's not over. I made a lot. It's been a good year.